Shame is foot technique, hand technique. You're not gonna hear the double bass, Martin. Son, that's why we use a bass drum trigger. Now he's just having fun in the done. And yes, I stopped this video to tell you that I'm not gonna... Good morning, drummers and drumettes. It's time for another Drum Teacher Reacts video. Drum Technique Academy family has decided that the next Drum Teacher Reacts video should be about Mr. Jamie of Alzerate. Alrighty, I'm excited about this one. We're gonna talk about Jamie's foot technique, hand technique, and we're also gonna discuss what makes Jamie so special and why he gets so much great feedback from drummers all over the world. Alright, so this song is called Dead Oceans Enjoy. By the way, I got the comment that I interrupt the video too often, so I'm gonna try to not do this that often in this video. And yes, I stopped this video to tell you that I'm not gonna stop that often. All right, let's go. I'm ready. All right, axis. Longboards, pearl quad beaters, oh, that's fast. Yeah, mix of wrist and finger motion, but mostly wrist motion. Tom feels sound great. Okay, I have to stop here. I really like that one. Let's see that one again. Tom sounds great. One thing that I really like about Jamie's playing is that when he's switching from a regular blast beat to Tom fills, then he's not losing power. He's using almost a full wrist motion, a little bit of fingers in there, but mostly wrist motion, and he's not losing power. It's more exhausting to play on Tom's, and he's got a lot of volume and power in those fills. Try to count that time signature real quick. <laughs> okay, what's the time signature right here? I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds. So what's the final end result? Yeah, it's one measure of 5-8 followed by a measure of 7-8. Let's listen to that one again. So not only multi-pedal orchestration, so switching with the right foot to the right hi-hat and the left foot to the left hi-hat, also he's changing subdivisions in between with his kick drum, so switching between 60 notes and 30 second notes as well. Yeah, right here. Nice and even doubles as well. Here you can see that he's not really moving his upper leg for that triplet blast beat with his right foot, single foot blast beat. So just his calves, ankle technique.
again the tom fill sounds so even and great Doubles again. Yeah. One thing that's really interesting here is that during this lower part of this song, like the volume is pretty low right now, the trigger, the bass drum trigger is not as loud either. So I'm not sure if they got their own sound guy with them, but it seems like the volume of the bass drum trigger is a bit lower right now and you will hear more of an acoustic kick drum sound. But again, not sure about that one. He's having fun right now. At this double bass part, you can clearly see now he's playing 16 note triplets, right and left foot. Beta swing almost 80 to 90 degrees, and he's not using the muscle group in his upper legs, only his lower legs. Triplet last beat, not moving his upper leg. Almost 90 degree beta swing. Mm -hmm. Now here at the faster double bass parts, you can see that he decreases the beta swing and plays regular 30 second notes. So I think now it's the right time to switch over to the practice pad and talk about his foot technique at higher tempos. Alrighty, we are back at the practice pad setup and now we're gonna talk about Jamie's foot technique. You know in the part of the clip that we watched right now, Amy played a triplet blast beat, sounded something like this. In that one you could clearly see that he got almost a 90 degree beta swing. But one thing that's really interesting is that when he switched from the eighth note triplet part, to regular 16th note double bass, so the faster stuff, he actually decreased the beta swing. Looked something like this. So one thing that's really cool about his foot technique is that in order to play faster, you don't really have to change your technique. Actually, all you focus on is you're trying to decrease the beta swing to play at a higher tempo. So now let's see a short demonstration of 16 note triplets and 30 second notes. So I'm gonna switch back and forth between 16 note triplets and 30 second notes and pay close attention to the beta swing and how it decreases at the 30 second notes and how it increases again at the 16 note triplet part. If you want to increase the tempo of your double bass and you want to go for the 20 to 30 degree beta angle, so for the faster stuff, I can recommend you do two things. Number one, you apply some pressure from your upper leg, like this kind of pushing down motion. This way you can drastically decrease the beta swing. And number two, actually also try to raise your heel a little higher. And you can see this in the clip really well. You know, we're gonna check it out again. When he switches from the 60 note triplet to the 30 second note double bass, that he also immediately raises his heel really high. And when he goes down to the 60 note triplets, he lowers his heels again. Yeah, but with such a small beta swing, you're not gonna hear the double bass, Martin. Son, that's why we use a bass drum trigger. But you know, back in the days, John Bonham played all of that stuff with just one foot. <laughs> All right, you keyboard warriors. Yes, at a higher tempo, you're gonna need a bass drum trigger if you decrease the beta swing. That's why actually every metal drummer out there who's playing constantly faster than 240, 250 BPM uses a bass drum trigger. All right, enough of that. Now let's continue watching Jamie's clip. Here you can see the beta swing, 20 to 30 degrees for the faster stuff.
really like his hand technique. Well. Now he's just having fun in the dawn. Two foot blast beat. That's the last song of the set, but th he's not losing power in any way. Try counting, five, five, eight, seven, eight. Again, those tom fills. Oh, alrighty. <laughs> All right, that's it for this clip of Jamie of Isolate. One of the comments underneath this video was about Jamie's skill and the guy that wrote that comment doesn't understand why so many drummers out there are a fan of Jamie and his playing. You know, one thing that I really like about Jamie is that Number one, his musical ability and creativity is outstanding. So he's performing on such a high complex songs, combination with his highly technical abilities. This makes him so special in my opinion. And he's doing all of that while looking relaxed. You know, he's having fun in that one. And it's just awesome to watch him play the drums. For those of you who want to learn more about the ankle technique, check the link below for the free double bass masterclass. Also comment below if you want me to cover a certain drummer. Next, that's it for today's video. I'm out. Have a great day. Cheers from Vienna. Bye-bye.